Okay, here we go. We had some sound. 大家好，我唔知道而家我见到系咪慢慢啲人入嚟啦？可能因为咧就食饱饭翻嚟睇啦。诶、uh, ，so hi everybody。点啊你 ？We have a few people here。In our side here, so、um, we have a crew here taking care of sound, video, and 希望咧大家睇唔到 catch 唔到呢一次咧就可以 play 翻去睇，因為我知道而家香港咧就可以食飯嘅，所以咧就是非時想介紹咧喺我隔離喺我對面，其實咧喺法國咧就係 Mr. Mark Perrin。Hello, Mr. Perrin. Hello, buddy. How are you? Good. Why don't you tell everybody here、um, in Asia? Most people here are going to be online from Asia.、Uh, where you are right now? I am in Chateauneuf du Pape in France, in the southern part of the Rhone Valley. Oh, he is now in France. So in France, he just finished lunch. I think you should just have been finished lunch, and we have just finished dinner, maybe.、Um, and then, oh, and then, we will first meet with you. Say a hi. We're gonna say cheers. And 你知啦，我哋喺 Wine Maven 嚟講咧，我哋每次做乜嘢咧，就一定係 cheers 同一支酒。Would you like to say what we are having tonight? 好開心啊，因為咧佢專登咧好快。誒，等陣先，我唔我唔借個 vintage。專登咧佢就寄咗過嚟嘅。So we are having a Chateau de Beaucastel, Chateau Neuf du Pape, two thousand nine. Beaucastel, Chateau de Beaucastel is a very very historical estate. Uh, dating back to the 1600s, and it's a wine which is made, which has a particularity. Of course, it is a、uh, organic and biodynamic, but also it's made out out of 13 different grape varieties. So it's very, very unique. And Chateau Neuf du Pape, of course, is very famous for being the wine of the popes who moved from Roma to Chateau Neuf du Pape in the 14th century. 哇！大家一嚟咧，第一句咧已經有好多歷史上嘅嘢啦。咁咧，知道佢而家都喺嗰個區啦。咁但係我知道好多香港人啦，同埋我哋啲朋友喺亞洲，無論係馬來西亞、新加坡，都會認識呢一個品牌嘅，亦都會認識呢一個酒莊。其實我應該其實都同你哋有飲過嘅，只不過唔係呢個年份。咁咧，誒，你哋大家都知道，都係佢係一個 co-owner， 佢亦都係第五個代五代啊。And you are, you are fifth generation, correct? Yes, I'm fifth generation. My family purchased Bob Castell in、uh, 1909, and I work <laughs> with uh, seven uh, of my siblings. We work together in the in the wine、uh, operations. 七個兄弟姊妹喎，係做呢、這個。你諗啊，一九零九年，而家佢同我哋分享咧係二零零九年啊。哇，真係一百啊！好勁啊！好勁啊！大家咁，所以咧，你飲酒嘅時候咧，你品嚐嘅時候咧，你係咪覺得你唔係淨係品嚐緊個酒裏邊，你係品嚐緊歷史一個 history 一個 culture 嘅故事？咁但係咧，我哋唔係講太多呢樣嘢先，因為咧今日係好開心咧，就點解請 Mr. Parent 上嚟咧？因為咧，除咗佢係一個 fifth generation 咧，關於酒嘅嘅故事啦，其實佢呢個故事咧，其實而家行緊嚟我哋而家呢一個。好接近咧，時代二零二三年嘅 NFT， 大家都唔知點解 wine 同 NFT 會有關係啦。So today is very interesting and very exciting is because why I introduce you and like you're perfect to introduce today for for this reason is the first day that they're gonna that they've launched actually 幾個鐘頭前。係 launch 咗第一個 NFT 喺 Wine Chain， 咁 Wine Chain dot co 咧，大家我唔知道你認唔認識啦。咁 Wine Chain is also part of one of one of many Mr. Parent's projects， but one of his newest ones， which I wanted to introduce to everybody because 大家都知道我同 NFT 同埋誒你知網上買酒呢樣嘢啦，誒、呃、介紹酒咧，其實係喺呢三四年咧就開始做多咗，因為 COVID。So I got involved in a lot of online introductions because of COVID. So why did you get involved with NFTs? Because it's very different from having something, you know, so historical,、um, something like wine, right, which is、um, very classical, very cultural. And then moving forward now, why all of a sudden into NFTs? Well, you know, I mean, as a as a winemaker, like all the、uh, the, the great wineries, and my friends, you know, I have a lot of friends who own.、Uh, Wineries in 
everywhere in the world. The, the big problem we have is that we don't really know our end customers. Um, and, you know, we usually sell to an importer who is going to sell to some retailers who eventually sell to the customer. And uh, the only way we have to, to really interact with our customers is when we receive them at the estate, but unfortunately we cannot receive everybody, you know, it's uh, although we try as much as we can, or when we travel and we visit the markets and we do some dinners, for instance, in Hong Kong or wherever, but it's, it's also very limited. You know, we want, we want to have direct interaction with our customers, and that's basically the main reason why we created this wine chain project, which is basically a platform which allow the wineries to sell directly to end customers everywhere in the world. That's what we try to do there. Ah, see, you hear it, it's because you know that you cover a lot of things they can't do. For example, he said that we have our wine dinner, wine tasting, and even Mr. Pan has a lot of time that he can't fly. 即係我哋大家都飛唔到去其他地方，咁呢一個新嘅平台咧，就令到大家咧其實個 distance 咧係唔關事啦，亦都係一個關於我哋 technology 嘅嘢。I also understand that Mr. Pan is very into technology， 所以佢咧就而家睇到個勢係，即係除咗唔係 wine， 喎，大家都知道有 art 啦，又有誒、um, 除咗 wine 就有好多關於誒、uh, authentication 啊，即係認證嘅嘢。呢個係 blockchain 嘅問題，咁點樣可以誒、嗯、加埋呢兩個世界一齊？佢就講得好好啦，誒、嗯、就係、是、因為 how wine is it how is it interrelated with NFT？ 誒、um, Michelle has asked online， and so I was just explaining it's a very good question that one is because distance COVID made that very apparent， especially in the wine world，、um, because we couldn't do wine tastings， you couldn't fly， we couldn't go there， we couldn't experience what we normally could， and because That time was not just for a few weeks or a few months. It became a few years. So then, how can we let the people experience exactly that? I know you all have heard about metaverse, ah, NFT, ah, and then your virtual people can enter into a world. So this is definitely a progression. So first, the wine NFT, how do you get from a NFT? So how do you get from a wine to an NFT? Can you walk us through the process of how wine chain has made this possible? So what happens? Say, I have this bottle of wine. I'm,、uh, I work at Mr. Perrin's chateau, and I'm in Rome. How does this become an NFT? Okay, so well, that's exactly what one chain does. Basically, a winery decides to sell, let's say, ten cases of wine. One chain creates ten NFTs. So each NFT is linked. To a case of wine that comes from the estate. That's very important to 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 understand that we are not a merchant. We are a platform where the seller is the winery. And so, winery says, "I want to sell ten cases. The price for each case is X, and automatically creates an NFT for each case. And on the other side, you have people from everywhere in the world that can buy these NFTs. It's as simple as that. When somebody purchases the NFT." He pays the winery and receives the NFT, and the NFT is in fact it's called a wine NFT. In our case, it's not just an NFT; it's a wine NFT, and in fact, it is a digital twin of a case of wine. And、uh, the thing is, we don't the winery doesn't ship the case directly to the owner, but the, the case is going to be shipped at wine chain、uh, in France, and then the owner of the NFT can either you know keep it. So basically, it, it, it's like having your cellar in the cloud, and you can have it delivered one day, maybe at home, but maybe when you are in Centrope or, or or in Courchevel. I mean, that's the idea of you know having your cellar on the cloud. But the owner of the NFT can also just、uh, keep it or resell it. We are building a marketplace, and and and、uh, and so they can either you know store it, have it delivered, or resell it. But the great thing is that wine chain allows users from everywhere in the world to get access to these wines, and this is today the big issue. You know, for many people, tell me, "Oh, how can I get your wines? I don't manage to get allocation, and so on." This way, you have a direct link as a customer with a winery through wine chain, and that's a big, big change. Okay. 
give me a second to translate the whole thing. Okay, okay, no. <laughs> It's really important because I think that's a lot of questions out there that I was getting DM'd about as well. Was that how can you make an NFT out of the wine, or why? How does the wine become an NFT? Okay, so he just answered it very well. Because he became a jewel. He is not a jewel. Okay, this is the first step. Okay, so for example, I said, if I say I have a jewel, I have a jewel in Hong Kong. So how do I become an NFT? Okay, so for example, I am now in Hong Kong. I have a jewel in Hong Kong. 其實係買個酒啊，唔係買一個 NFT， 係買咗個酒 from 嘅酒莊，但係佢成為一個好似 digital digital 呢個 coupon 嘅類似嘅嘢啦。但係佢係其實係 directly 係個酒嚟嘅。咁唯一嘢咧，佢唔係即刻送俾你啦。咁你 hold 住呢樣嘢，譬如我之後我唔飲住啦，我其實係擺咗喺度。咁我其實冇地方擺啊嘛。可能你知香港啦，地方又貴，咁啊你要擺一個喺一個温度嘅地方 keep 住嗰個 temperature 噶嘛。咁我亦都冇呢個噶，咁你 keep keep 住喺法國啦 ，keep 住喺法國係直接喺個酒莊嗰度嘅，咁佢中間咧就有彎住係佢哋自己嘅人，咁變咗咧，當你你諗我就譬如我飛咗去，我飛咗美國，咁我想飲啦，我我其實我咧就喺嗰度 burn 咗佢，佢咧就直接咧就寄過去嗰邊啦，咁變咗咧我就中間又唔使驚擺個酒喺邊啊 ，store 個酒喺邊咧，亦都如果你喺街度買嘅時候咧。你唔使驚，中間係經過啲咩嘢人啊？經過啲咩嘢誒寄個方法有冇錯過啊？有冇試過好熱啊？呢樣嘢唔會咯。其實你係控制中間嗰個 providence， 即係佢喺邊度嚟，嚟自邊度嗰個中間啊？咁呢樣嘢咧就會減咗個中間嗰、那個誒、um, unsure， 即係即係唔係好知嗰啲嘢咯。因為之前啲人會買走啦，個 condition 哇好似壞咗啊！第一誒，亦都係你唔知道，譬如你買咗啲舊嘅酒啦。咁啲舊嘅酒咧，亦都唔知道經過幾多個手先去到你度啦。咁你亦都唔可以保證個酒。而家咧，佢其實直接喺個酒莊度可以保證個 condition， 亦都係你知個酒咧係真嘅，因為佢喺個 blockchain 裏邊咧係有 authentication， 佢有認證。呢、這個係 directly 喺佢哋，但係大家都唔使驚，因為佢本身咧都唔係話成個酒莊所有酒都變成呢樣嘢，佢係一部分。啊、uh, ，and and that's about ten percent right now, right of the wine from the chateau. Is been allocated to do this. It's not all the wines, correct, Mr. Perry? Exactly. Our idea is that if we are successful, the、uh, chateau will allocate ten percent of their production to this direct、yeah. consumer channel.、Uh, so it will not replace the negotiants. It will not replace the importers, the restaurants. Not at all. We want this ecosystem to keep on living. But we believe that we can allow. What you know, every winery, most of all wineries. Do direct to consumer in their own country, right?、Mm-hmm. But very, very few. It's very difficult to do direct to consumer everywhere in the world. With wine chain, that's what we allow. And so, in fact, it, on the on the other side, it allows people from everywhere in the world to be direct consumers to the wineries, like we do in our own countries, basically. So it's like opening to the world、uh, the direct relationship with the wineries, and that's that's really great. And also, I think you did mention it, although I don't understand. Also, <laughs> as long as the wine remains as a wine FT, it has a guaranteed provenance from the chateau I, I, and perfect、uh, storage condition. And as you know, in wine, the provenance is very, very important. So this way, if you buy a, a, a wine FT, you have the guarantee of provenance and authenticity and storage condition. So that's very important. 係啦，因為大家都知道咧，喺呢十幾廿幾年，大家都知道咧，好多 case 咧係關於譬如啊、呃、假酒啦，亦都唔知啊係咪暖過熱過呢個 condition 啊，即係飲得同埋唔飲得，即係始終呢樣嘢咧好難控制噶嘛，因為經過咁多個手，經過咁多個，即係譬如人嚟送俾你啊，人哋喺邊度寄過嚟，你好難知啊。咁但係用呢一個方式去做嘅時候咧，就一定可以知咯。咁當然佢哋會有啲新酒，亦都會有 vintage 嘅酒啊。咁啊。呃 Before I forget, we have to also say because today is a very special day. Today is actually the first wine FT drop. Is that correct? And is and it is with. I mean, we mentioned it when we were off screen, but we didn't mention it when we we're on screen. So、um, it's kind of exciting. 大家都知道咧，你叫見到我 post 嘅時候咧，咪有 Brad Pitt 張相啦。當然咧 ，Brad Pitt 唔係 part of the NFT. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that Brad Pitt is not part of the NFT. But <laughs> 
if you buy the NFT, you do not get Brad Pitt. But <laughs> because Mr. Perrin does work with Brad Pitt, um, they, they do share the movie together. That's why it was very special. Maybe you want to explain a little bit about, a little bit about the wine, just so, it, because it is the first drop and it's a special um, packaging. This is the first drop ever. And in fact, uh, we are releasing uh, some NFTs. So each NFT is a case of three bottles of a very, very special wine called Fleur de Miramal. Uh, and it's the, 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 the first bottles of a new vintage, which is called ER4. And, 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 and so Fleur de Miramal is a very, very unique champagne house. And it is the only champagne house that produces exclusively rosé champagne. And we push the quality of rosé champagne very, very far. And, um, and it's a partnership between Mr. Pitt, uh, my family, and very importantly, Rodolphe Peters, who is the owner of Champagne Pierre Peters, which he, who is certainly, for me, uh, one of the very, very best uh, wine growers and winemakers in, in the Côte des Blancs. And we are based in Le Ménil sur Roger, really in the center of the Côte des Blancs. And it's a very, very exceptional champagne, which, yes. only, which is only produced at uh, 20,000 20, bottles. So it's a very small production, and it is a very unique uh, first drop indeed. Yeah,大家如果你真的很認識香檳的話,最近大家都看到很多關於Pierre yeah, go to winechain.co and you have to register first. It's free.即係呢樣嘢係免費嘅,所以你先可以 so you can don't know how many NFTs there are for this one. This is the cool part is that the last how many? There's gonna be an announcement when we hit how many? Ten left. Ten left there is an announcement. Only ten left. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, right? Yeah, so I don't know. 只是十個了,他們才announce有十個了,所以我們大家不知道的。對於我們這個酒世界,其實都挺開心的,我其實在Twitter那邊都有提同有留意。So there's many ways that they can join. One, um, there's also a free one uh, that people can participate in. One, you join uh, Wine Chain, that you register. 第二,就有Twitter,他們有IG,他們有account,他們有 but I think this it's cool to be a part of it. I think this was the reason why I became part of this project because I thought it was really exciting when I learned about it. One thing that I, I really admire is um, your attention to sustainability and you know global warming and carbon footprint because I've been doing a lot with school actually lately and because wine F and B is very like the, the food and beverage world is is a lot of tension into sustainability at, at the moment. And because everything we do um, contributes to it. And I, I love the fact that this is actually one of the main reasons um, that uh, you and your partners did get into this because there's a there are carbon footprint. Carbon So this is one thing I really wanted to um, thank you because as you're not just one chateau, you have many and you have an influence on so many families that all contribute. And we want we want to be sustainable, even in the wine world, right? And in that in that saying, this is a step forward because as you said, it's not about taking away, it's actually about inclusivity. You're adding another group of people who may not have known a lot about the wine culture um, and what goes into it. And for me, I'm kind of like the border in between old world and new world because you know I didn't grow up in the wine world. I've only learned about it in the past 10 years. And I think a lot of um, the Asian community 
have, would love to learn a lot more because wine is not just about wine, it's about culture. And I know that somebody asked me also was with the wine NFT, is there going to be more of like an experience NFT? Because I, I like I've been able to do go there, but everybody only sees pictures now and people see videos of the beautiful vineyard because of COVID. People only see the videos you post of the chateau and the process of um, winemaking and going into the vineyards of picking and having food. And um, I know that there's a lot of foodies and wine lovers here in Asia. So they want to know, is there going to be a wine NFT or an experience NFT with wine chain? Yes, uh, we hope every chateau will have the capacity to include some very unique experience together with the wine. And uh, again, because every user or buyer will have a direct relationship with the chateau, it's it's very natural. Uh, so yes, uh, it can include, you know, a visit, it can include a, 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 a lunch with the owner, it can be, the, I mean, many, many things that can be included within the NFT. And again, it's each chateau which decide which perks they will include, but it's definitely part of it. And also about sustainability, thank you for your question, because it's really one of the pillars of wine chain. You know, I've been in this uh, world, the, the wine world for uh, 30 years now, and I've seen so many wines doing three types uh, around the earth, you know, being purchased and repurchased and resold to eventually be sold at uh, in the country where they left initially, you know, and this makes no sense. So with wine chain, the wines are kept in one place. You keep it, you keep your wine under the form of an NFT with all the trackability and the uh, security of the blockchain. And you can have it shipped or you can resell it, whatever you want. But in any case, the wine has never moved. So it's a guarantee of authenticity, of provenance, of quality, and of less carbon uh, emissions, of course, because we don't have wines going around the world for no reason, basically. Yeah, so it is a little high ago. Yako Do you know which NFT is gonna be next? They have um right now they have the one and they have one next is it one once a week or once a month? Now for now it's once a week and then it will be twice a week and then three a week and then we will see where where we stop but uh, but for now it's once a week the next one is cause des tournel yeah in bordeaux very unique and mr repier the owner of cause des tournel is also an investor in one chain uh and we are very happy to have him on board and he's doing amazing wines and amazing hospitality you you know you were talking about experiences and he's owner of La Reserve, which is an absolutely stunning uh, hospitality group. So that's very nice. We also have uh, the, the Champagne Road Rare coming soon. And Mr. Rousseau also is an investor in wine chain. So uh, that's great. We have Michel Chapoutier coming soon with his Hermitage from Le Pavillon. Uh, we have uh, Didier Dagenot coming soon, which is really, really exciting because this wine is super, super fantastic and impossible to find. So there will be a lot of fantastic opportunities to purchase great wine from wine chain directly from the winery and I think that's very unique. I'm I'm very excited to hear so many of these names. Da gaha my tena do ke gong ge di eh zhou zhang a ke san wo de hang gong a zhou ren hou yin shik li ge ge da ban zhang la ke se san la. Eh lu ru le la la da ga do zhi de wo de hang ban la da ga wo zhi do OCC hai yap do hai yin wei he de la. Eh hou duo ke am an gong ge di zhou zhang ke san san ge do lei 香港的,都會真人會出現。我覺得這件事是一個很好的計劃,因為如果你們大家都是一個一個,如果你不記得,其實你可以去回訪WineChain. I think if they don't remember, they can also go back and they will list them on WineChain as well, right? Yes, yes. Every, every uh, drop is announced on WineChain and if you register, you will be informed of every uh, drop in advance. And you can ask for an alert so you don't miss it because unfortunately I'm, I'm sure if we have success you know the first ones will be able to access to the wine but it will disappear quite quickly but uh, yeah you can you can get alerts for you uh, you can follow the wineries you really love to make sure you don't miss that but also i think white chain is a fantastic way to discover new wines you know um, uh, the, the 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 person in charge of the selection of the wineries and the wines is antoine petrus 
He's a very, uh, very talented. He, he was a uh, meilleur ouvrier de France in sommellerie. He used to manage the Cave Taivan and Taivan. I mean, he's very, very knowledgeable and he has this capacity to find wines which are just absolutely incredible, you know? And so it's also a way to access to one that you cannot access otherwise. Ah,因为其实我们大家都很难,有时我们想买那些vintage啊,那些品牌,有时没有因为它是有限量的嘛。那现在这个平台呢,也都可以,因为它本身是一个品牌的时候呢,它们都有allocation,不用allocation,它是
，你唔會即刻係有手到噶嘛。你同埋你要好多時咧，如果你係知走個世界咧係叫做 on premiere， 你係提提早三年前買嘅本身，咁但係你冇得睇過走，你真係順住喺嗰邊。但係而家你你有呢一個認證嗰個排喺你嗰邊咧，你咪兩邊有得有一個 balance 咯。所以誒，我 just gonna go over a little bit because of the question。So um。I think they are really good questions that people are asking between the、uh, the Chinese. So between here and because I also saw when you bring when you send it here to Asia, for instance,、um, because of the tax, there is、uh, you just have to go on. I saw already that there's separate prices for with and without、uh, VAT. So wine chains done that really well in the consideration of. Because I 我之前都問咗 Mr. Pan 關於税啊，咁每個國家唔同嘅，其實佢哋 adjust 咗嘅 ，and they also have a note that、um, because They can see the where they because you're not sending it anywhere, so it's paid for the price there. But they have a VAT and no VAT、uh, price on the wine chain already. So you can see that the price of the wine chain is different, and it has different countries. 唔同嘅 currency， 所以呢樣嘢佢已經，佢哋有一個公司大公司，佢哋會睇。如果你哋有啲咩問題 ，if they have any further questions that they don't really understand， because I'm sure that、um, a lot of people in Asia are very interested just because they haven't been able to fly， they haven't been able to taste， and I think you know we're not next door to France， so this is very applicable to people in Asia。Specifically for this system, and storage in Hong Kong is very expensive. So I see this is、um, something that they're going to have a lot of questions about how the the logistics and keeping it. So I know that there's going to be a lot of singular questions about this. And I said, you can always、um, message me here,、uh, and we will try to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will question Mr. Parent, <laughs> and they'll get somebody on the technical side to answer and email you guys directly. And we'll give you a, an info、uh, email where people can. So I'll give you a information. Email, 佢哋會俾我咁，我哋直接你可以直接揾佢哋。If they have any technical questions they have,、um, you guys would be very happy to answer because they answered every question that I had before getting on board because I was also asking about logistics mostly for Asia storage and、um, it's really new for everybody. But this is the first step, and I think it's a really cool first step for wine, especially for wine lovers. So I just want to thank Mr. Pan. So you 大家如果嗯、um, yes， 如果有有有多啲 question 咧，你真係可以問，因為我知道一個可能唔夠。We might even have to have a second chat after a couple more drops when people get a little bit more interested when they actually see the digital token and what to do with it after. I think、um, people are going to be really interested in that as well. So thank you so much, Mr. Pan. With pleasure. Anytime. You just let me know. Very nice. Very very nice、uh, chatting with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and and the crew here will enjoy the rest of the bottle with me. <laughs> Cheers! Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.